hello and welcome to my channel this is crafting with V if you like what you see um, go ahead and like and subscribe and leave me a comment tell me some stuff that you'd like to see on my videos but anyway right now this is the final painting from my craftably haul where I went up to the craftably store I will try to link them in the description and by the way I'm V but I have, I've ended up buying four paintings up there, and I absolutely love them. Whenever you get a Craftability painting, they come in these artist tubes. They are telescoping. They go to where they're very big. I know that I have a Josephine Wall one, and it fits. I can actually put my Josephine wall in one of these. But anyway, they're very nice to have. I've got several of them. Um, this is my second pink one. I will be keeping one of each color, but after I do my paintings, I will probably be giving these away. The other than the first three. But I've already gave a couple of them away. Anyway, I have Paisley. This is by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. It's a 20 by 28 painting. Very beautiful, very colorful. Um, the first thing that comes with these, you will get this toolkit. <coughs> I am so sorry. Excuse me, my allergies are starting to get to me a little bit. Okay, this is your toolkit. It comes in the soft burlap sack. I really like this. And then you have your basic toolkit in here. It comes with a white tray with a funnel, a squishy, a very nice pair of sharp tweezers. Be sure you keep that sheath on the tweezers. A sparkly pen with a four placer and a single placer. And then it comes with an extra four placer, a seven placer, and your wax. This is actually everything that you need to diamond paint. without any problems but craftably gives you a little bit of extras so they give you a caddy of wax that's branded and has their name on it they give you a cover minder and this one is a little heart I'll take this out of here I already opened this one because I used it on my trip back but anyway, it's just a little heart. Very cute. It's a cover minder. It's got a very strong magnet on the back. Okay. And then they give you two things of washi tape. These are cute. I like that black and white one there. Anyway, they are just random. The cover minders are just random. It's just the luck of the draw of what you get. Anyway. And if you order from their website, they also, be sure to check the bottom of your box. Because they end up putting those, um, they end up putting those in the bottom of the boxes. So they are separate my canvas it does have a little bit of scotch tape on here no big deal it's very it does not hurt your canvas be nice if I could find the end of it though because I did not bring my scissors out here hmm. let's try to break it nah, we were able to break it okay anyway this is Paisley. I love my big guy girls and Craftably has a lot of them. Okay, 
you get an instructions on how to diamond paint. It comes with this that lets you know everything that comes in your 4.0 toolkit. Very nice. And this also comes with, this is kind of bent, so I may leave this one out of my paint. But it comes with your logbook sticker. And then it comes with some Just Cuz stickers. And it comes with these, which it has the pillable labels. And it comes with extra labels as well, so that you can kit up your painting very nice sticker sheet I absolutely love their sticker sheets okay so anyway your bag of drills it comes with a picture of the painting so that you can so that you can store it separately it says Paisley a 20 by 28 by Jasmine Becky Corpus And these canvases are similar to Diamond Art Club's canvases. They're very soft and they do lay flat very, very quickly. I've never had a problem with their canvases. I've done two or three of them and I've got several in my stash. But anyway, isn't that just gorgeous? Pull it up so you can see it a little bit. See the whole thing? Very pretty. I love the colorful parts in the background. Looks like she's sitting in a vine nest. She's got her little daisies in her hair. I love daisies. I love flowers. Looks like there's a butterfly there. And then it's just a very, very gorgeous painting. I absolutely love it. Let's see. Yeah, these, this right here are, is her wings in the background. I do absolutely love that. Okay, this one's going to be a quicker video. Um, it does have the key code legend on both sides of the canvas. And these are very sticky, very sticky canvases very clear their symbols are very very clear but I am not going to take this out of the bag all I am going I'm going to show you the colors through the side of the bag because they're in there so nicely I do not want to mess them up I will however take the AB and the rhinestones out see just gorgeous beautiful colors I love those oranges there and there's a red and the blues this is going to be so pretty but let's go ahead and get the ABs out and the rhinestones and try to find where they go okay so it looks like it's 58, 59, 60, and 61 Oh my gosh, this has got three bags of rhinestones. And then one AB. Okay, so the AB is this green. Let's zoom in a little bit. The AB is this green right here. Very gorgeous color. And we've got gold rhinestones. That wasn't focusing just yet. It's hard to focus on the... Then we got red rhinestones. And we have blue rhinestones. So let's figure out where all of these go. 58 is U. Okay. So, is it still glaring a little bit too much? I hope not. Okay, there's some of the U's in her wing right here. 
some over here. There's more right here in this part. And then in the leaves down here, there's some green. This over here. can see that. I can't get it to go down far enough. Anyway, over there, that light green right there, or this one right here, is the use. Zoom this back out. There's some use over here again in her wings. There's some right here. It's just, there's none in her eyes, none on her face. Okay. That looks about everywhere that the U's are at. <coughs> Let's look at the red brownstones. There's not very many of these. But the symbol's kind of weird on that. It's like a tilted hourglass with the red background. So let's see. Still trying to figure out where these are at. Okay. These right here are going to be in these red flowers. They outline these red flowers down here. Any more up here? They also outline this little butterfly right here. This little butterfly right here, they outline it. And then, let's see. I want to say that is about all of the reds. 60 is the three little dots. Again going to be in her wings right here. This is the gold rhinestone. It's going to be in her wings. Down here in her wing. There's some down here near the flowers. And there's some over here in the top part of her wing. And then there's some down here in some of the bottom part of her wing. But that is all of those. And then the blue. I love this blue rhinestone. Isn't that just gorgeous? Just 61, which is going to be the letter L. I thought it would be in her wings, but it's not in her wings. I might add some to the blues in her wings. Okay. Sorry. If you saw my face in the, you don't want to see my face in the middle of the canvas. Okay. Anyway, the blues. Where did I just see it at? I lost it. Well, let me pause this a second so I can try to find it real quick. Okay, so the L's are going to be in here in this little... I don't think it's part of her wing. I think it's just the flowers at the bottom. And that, there's some over on this side as well. And I think that's about all of the blues. Okay. And then we got the green. Did I already do the green? Which, yeah, I already did the U. I already did the 60. And the 50. I did the red, the gold, and the green. What's the other one? Oh. And then the blue. Okay. So we found all of the ABs and rhinestones in this. Isn't this such a gorgeous painting? I absolutely love it. If you 
if you want me to show all of the drills next time, just let me know. And I'll go through them with you instead of just the ABs. Uh-oh. One of the bags looks like it might be a little bit open. No, it wasn't open, but we'll put this one back in there. Whenever you get these and start taking them out, just be sure to check the bags. Make sure the zippers are closed all the way. Because I'm pretty sure it's machines that do on them. It might not be, but... Anyway, just make sure the bags are closed all the way before you get them out so you don't spill them. Anyway, if you want to just leave me a comment, like, and subscribe to my channel if you like this type of content. Um, if you want me to do some other things, just let me know. And I'll try to see what I can do. Um, I will see you next time. Bye.